And welcome back. Well, nobody said raising kids was easy, so our next guest left them behind in her Alabama trailer park. See, that's real me times. Just yeah. leave them all behind. That's what you should do. And now what does she do? Well, Dixie sells Tupperware, of course, <laughs> all over the country because her parole officer said she needed to get a job. We think so, too. We're glad she stopped by Milwaukee. She's going to be at the Marcus Center tomorrow through Friday. Limited edition, limited engagement. So you got to check her out while you yeah. can. I am just, I, I liked your outfit last year, but your dress today, honey, <laughs> is, is I like, think the earrings gorgeous. are killing it. Look at they say Dixie. Yeah, they said my name. A friend of mine got, got me these for Christmas in case like someone's having sex with me. And they're like, what's your name? And I'm like, if you can't read, we're not having sex. <laughs> I don't have time to teach him all this. Center. Yeah, I mean, uh, so it's but done. I mean the dress with this guy it's right here in the chest. It's got my little cowboys and everything. Well, at this point, yeah. I look down and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do tonight? Him. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, it's fun. Uh, just not in that way. That's so good So did you have any heartbreak with leaving your kids behind oh, or was that no. okay? Kids are sticky. Like the laser saying, what's the greatest number for kids? Zero. Because they're so, <laughs> they get in your way and they're always bogging you down. I keep in touch with them on the Skype. They're always like, hey, mama, look at me. I'm like, oh, why? Is there a bloody handprint on the wall? Why is the cat missing a leg? And then I just do that thing where I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm losing the signal. Then I just shut it down. Turn it up. Turn it off. Oh my lord. So yes. what, what led you to Tupperware? Well, I started um, selling Tupperware. It's part of the conditions of my parole. And um, my parole officer said, You need a job to get your kids back. I was like, bad idea. But you know, they make you because the law or whatever. And so I started selling and then um, and then turned I like it into this a piece show. Of Tupperware. Who doesn't? Everybody remembers their favorite ball I from when he was a kid. And a lot of people don't even realize it's tap where you put the little shapes in it. I used to have oh, a yeah. sobriety test. So I was like, am I supposed <laughs> to drink and drive now? <laughs> not like that. Nope. <laughs> no, not no, but I can sure get on a tractor. And that's good because yeah. tractors go slower. You don't have that same thing. Like, I might fall. Don't matter. Well, uh, I've told you before, I absolutely love Tupperware. I'm Tupperware yes, obsessed. And you are too, right? I, I mean, love Tupperware. I'm more Tupperware. I swear to God, my Lord. If my trailer ever catches on fire because there's so much Tupperware in it, we're going to lose most Alabama. It's just going to be. Everybody's just going yeah. to die of the toxic it'll just fumes. Melt. Yeah, that it'll whole just thing just slowly like melt. That. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I started doing Tupperware quite a number of years ago, and I've been. And then I turned it into a show called Dixie's Tupperware Party. I named it myself. Oh, that's And cute. then I've been traveling all over, and this is my second time here at the Market Center. I yeah. had so much fun a couple years back. They said, "Come on, what are you doing?" I said, "You know, drinking." And they're like, "You won't come back." I said, "All right, I'll come back." And so I packed up my Tupperware, brought it, and then we're gonna have some fun. You, you seem know? like a lot for Milwaukee to handle, though. Oh, listen, I've handled Milwaukee, so mm -hmm. they can handle. Me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I love you. Everybody's so neighborly. When I said last time, everybody was so sweet. They all said the nicest things rubbed up on my leg like a dog looking for peanut butter. You know, just nice, <laughs> nice people here. So it's good. So, I, you know, when they said, can you come back? I said, yeah, I'm going to come because I love it here. <laughs> well, what are some of your favorite things you've seen or experienced on the road traveling the world doing oh this Oh, my Lord. Work? I've seen so much. I, I mean, I've met so many great people and I've, uh, you know, had sex pounds, so many dumpsters and things like that. And I've, been, <laughs> and I've met lovely people like yourself. They've talked to me about different things. I'm, I've been to Australia where they don't even um, speak American, and I, I didn't even think they had food down there. I was so excited. Um, I've been to Canada. Yeah, Vegemite sandwiches. Oh, they, they put something in my mouth, and I wasn't even too sure what it was, but it was salty and funny and crazy. It, that veg, have you ever had it? No, it's I haven't. so nasty. Yeah. It's so nasty. And, and they watch you eat it. Like, and like, is that a sandwich? No, it is this brown, uh, like, it's, it's, I hardly explain. It's a spread. They put it on bread and stuff, but it's so thick and so gross. It's like chewing tar, but it's Pate. real salty. It's so nasty. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. But they have things called Tim Tams, which you put in your mouth and you're like, Jesus just was here, right here in my mouth. That's how good those are. So good. So, yeah, but no, I'm, you know, I've met great people and I've been so lucky and I, I always find that the things that everybody has in common, people are nice and people are stupid. It's mm -hmm. the two things that I learned, you know, yeah. because mm -hmm. everybody's so neighborly around it, but damn, people are stupid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just got to know, rest comfortable in the fact that you're smarter than most of the people you're going to talk to. Isn't that the mm -hmm. nice thing? So and better looking. You're better looking than most people. Stop it with your nice words. You I say mean, your hair, Well, look who's talking. Oh, I just, makeup, no, nailed Well, I'm yeah. barely wearing no makeup, just a light dusting of powder. People think that I have eyeshadow. It's not, it's a chemical burn. I was changing the <laughs> frown in my car and it shot up and hit me in both eyes. And so it just, you know, the after Perfectly the symmetrical. Still, well, it's a good thing I wasn't looking this away or that because mm -hmm. it would have been on the side of my head. Wouldn't yeah. that have been just uncomfortable? That would be awful. Awful. Yeah, yeah, awful. So, Jesus. But, yeah. Yeah.
So yeah. when people come to the show, can they actually leave with some Tupperware? You what know what? Yes. It's not like a Tupperware party. Good old fashioned Tupperware party. But we've got games and prizes and raffles and all kinds of fun stuff like that. This person and, having fun with you on stage. Yes. I get people up to help me with some of the demos. We do all this stuff. Everybody gets a catalog and order form. If they want to, they can get the quality food storage crap at the end of the party. But if they don't, <laughs> they can just say, well, I had a good time. Let's get some drinking and come on, you know? So it's truly a one woman show. It's, and the only other people on stage with you are participating from the audience? Yeah, I bring them up and I say, come on, let's have some fun. You know, because the thing is, I want everybody to have a good time and, and jazz themselves up a bit and leave just feeling a little bit better about themselves. So I, I take the people from the audience and I just talk to them and, and, and find out a little bit about them and then jazz everybody up. So, so it's you think fun. it's empowering okay. to women, too? I think so. Well, I think, you know, a lot of people don't even realize that Tupperware started after the after World War II, where the kind of the Rosie the Riveters had been in the workforce and doing some great stuff, and then they were kind of relegated back to the kitchen. Go back to the kitchen, we're done with you now. And you think, well, wait a minute, these ladies have been so great, doing so much, and all of a sudden you're just making them irrelevant. And Tupperware came along, and it was one of these things that a woman who created the Tupperware party said, no, we got to get give people this opportunity to go back and, and be bigger members of their families mm -hmm. and communities and do the stuff that they did and make them so valuable. And that's how Tupperware sort of blossomed so much, is because ladies it took and wonderful. said, this is a good thing, and I'm going to be with, I call it the original social network, because it yeah. was when people used to get together and do stuff before they were wiggling on them buttons, you know, and then they would get together <laughs> with their friends and then talk to each other and, and, and get together. We it's ran out of time going to give information about your show, so you can but breathe. just real quick, yeah. <laughs> Take um, a breath. But do you have a tip, because you have just such a, you, you keep your figure so nice. Do you have any tips for that? Well, sex. I find that the more <laughs> sex you have, the, just the pounds just fall right off. I mean, <laughs> well, look around, we all know that. Everything Amen. just falls right off. Yeah, right? well, that's true. It's one of them things. But no, you know what? I, I, I think I try to be active. You know, the, the kids, like the ladies was talking about earlier and I was talking about, kids are, you know, sticky. And so you have to run after them all the time. Even if they're not yours, you run after them in the mall. You're Other like, kids. shut up, stop talking. I don't need you in front of me. You're getting in my way. Like that. Um, but, you know, just keep yourself out. I think if there's life is too short to just be sitting down. You got to get out there and enjoy it and experience as much as you can. I like I that. It. People need to get out and experience yeah. you. Yeah. Because you're only here. Here. Life so wisdom for, from Dixie. Yeah, exactly. She's only here for a little while. You got to see days. Dixie's Tupperware Party is happening the 12th through the 15th. So that's tomorrow, Thursday through Sunday at the Marcus Center's Wilson Theater at Vogel Hall. She's back in town. We love it. 414-273 for tickets 7206, marcuscenter.org. And Dixie's so generous. That's the thing I love about her. She brought, <laughs> away, so brought two tickets for us to give away. So if you're caller number seven, you're the lucky winner today for the Thursday. That's the tomorrow night performance. Call us right now at 414-799-4444. Thanks. Yeah, How many times have you said that phone number? 444. <laughs> Dial it wrong. Aren't people stupid? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> de, 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 what? Oh, you know how long Howard is that take? You're going to make me one of those dresses. I'll tell you what, I'll, get you, I'll get you one for next Mother's Day. Right. How about that? I love it. Dixie, thank you Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely.